Good evening, well, quite a change of plan and I've arrived at Eymouth, just over the Scottish border and it is absolutely fantastic. One of the places where you think, why have I not been here before? Some really rogue waves. The only problem I can foresee, and you'll all be a bloody hell in waves, is that stuff there. You all know it, that horrible foam that when you try to do long exposures, I can actually hear the waves because it's like all the, the sounds going up this little gully here. Now it's and the tide's coming in and by the looks of it the tide gets all the way up and past here. So there's a ways to go for high tide yet. <laughs> oh sh yeah, so there's a way to go a high tide yet. Bloody hell, this is, reminds me of Iceland. Definitely some colour in the sky, even though sunset is not for another hour and a bit. Again, the water comes right up here. If I can get the tide coming up there, Bloody hell, this is, and I rarely use the word, you might know the word that's coming, this is absolutely phenomenal, it's the word I save for special occasions, by bloody hell. That is good, that is You've got plates. Oh, he's off. Geology teacher. You've got plates of rock on top of each other. All being pushed that way. Anyway, it's not a joke. Geology class. Catch you soon. See ya. So just a quick shot from behind the camera have moved south slightly and I found an absolutely awesome bay which you can see just just there now I could get down there so I found my composition there are a few tiny flowers you can just see there on the lower right and third but it is precarious where I actually want to be is there but it's a hell of a drop and it's very wet and craggy so I'm going to do something I don't usually do and uh, behave sensibly there's some there's actually some nice clouds forming behind the camera there's a lot of clouds <laughs> oh excuse me you won't hear that oh it's decisions decisions so there's a lot less of that rather unattractive foam up here I cannot believe I've not seen this place before it's absolutely wonderful, it's some amazing potential. The rocks have got so much character. As I say, there's some lovely flowers, can you see them? Just there. But either side, there is a, a slight incline. Uh, 
to put it mildly. But that would make a lovely photograph. I so miss my 14 mil. No remember me. My 14 mil wide angle. The widest I've got is 24. Yeah, it's yeah, nope. It really is. Where's it gone? No, oh, it's just there. The rocks there. And the flowers in the foreground, there really is some potential to use. Again, you can't really see it. The flowers just there, onto the rocks, oh, just there, leading out, leading onto them rocks and into the horizon. I may get a bit of colour, I may get a bit of colour. My heart's actually beating rather rapidly, both for the excitement of this excellent find and because of the uh, chance of uh, death. Nope, I am going to go around the headland, over the bridge, and down just up that little inlet there. Oh, see you soon. Ta da. Well, it didn't quite work down there. It's a lovely valley with lovely rocks going into it but the sides are a bit too steep so you've got a real claustrophobic feel to it plus it was a lot darker than the other areas again it's darker than it appears not about again what I'm trying to do now I'm going to do a lovely long exposure bloody hell it's not that bright long exposure panorama right across there I should be able to capture it all in and blend it all because it's been a long with it being a long exposure. Um, Lightroom, Lightroom won't have any problems with the um, with the blending, the merging, should I say? So I've got that because it is getting dark. Trust me, it's getting dark. Anyway, let's see what this turns out like. Right across there, there's a lovely. You might not be able to see it. A lovely step path leading right up to there. There yeah. So I'm just about finished here. It's half past ten and I've been up since half past six this morning so it's a long day and I'm starting to feel a little jaded now. I've been stood on the uh, not quite edge but towards the edge of a cliff where you can see not a good idea. So I've stood, just done a six shot panorama one second, but as I as I panned across, it got somewhat darker. So I don't know whether it is. I'm not sure they'll stitch together. I'm gonna have a couple more photographs. I'm gonna put that bang in the middle, and hopefully I can get something like something like that. Long exposure with that, and a shorter exposure. Once that's done. Back to the bunkhouse and some kick. Apologies if this is a, a very incoherent, disjointed vlog, but it's been uh, yeah, it's been bloody emotional today. Good grief! And it's only day one. Anyway, good night. See ya. Set myself aside, lead the way on this trial. If you don't know the way, we can stop and make a change. I know we walk for days, losing hope, fading love. This night will be okay, waking up to another
set aside Be the 